Hey everybody, this is Nitro coming back uh, at you with a uh, review of uh, Canadian beers. Uh, and this is a very special occasion, not only for me, but a fan of beer. So I'm making this video not just for if anybody else wants to watch, but myself as well. Uh, I finally got able to get it, uh, find the uh, Alpine. Um, and Moosehead have it in the same house at the same time. Both are uh, Moosehead Brewery brand names. People might not know that. Uh, both are lager, kind of like a pale lager. Uh, people of most Maritimes, East Coast uh, type beer or Eastern Canada beers uh, or American for that matter. Uh, yeah. Because uh, this past year, I, I tried like every beer there is. Uh, I try to post reviews as much. Not a lot of people really care for them, so. But I post it on Reddit and whatnot, and other people kind of get a kick out of it. But yes, so these are uh, Mooseheads, a fiercely independent company. Uh, you may remember them way back in the day. They used to have green bottles. They don't do that anymore. Couldn't get the Alpine in cans. Like I said, it's getting hard to find. They changed their lap labeling and their packaging, so you can see that there. I'm not a big fan of the logo, but uh, yeah, they did. Anyway, nonetheless, and like I said, uh, cans is better, cans are taste better, everybody knows that. And when you have bottles, they're just one of bits to get rid of. In Nova Scotia, they're twenty. You get If you have tw uh, 12 of them, you take them to the exchange. If they're not in a 12-pack, they, they're like five cents each. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. But, yeah, they're not worth it, and they clang, make a lot of noise, and, and weight. Not worth even exchanging. So yeah, you put them in your closet and like, yeah, you move it around. It sounds like you're an alcoholic to your next door neighbor because it's just clang, 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 clang. <laughs> anyway, it's just me. But, yes. Yeah, and I haven't drank beer in almost a week uh, in preparation for this. These are both ice cold at the back of the fridge. at a little certain place for these things. I have a beer glass, frosted, and these are just as close as I got right now. I can't find these beer glasses anywhere, uh, except for other like weirder ones, which I don't care for. So these are frosted, and nice and cold. So without further ado, I'd like to get into this because at the end of this video, uh, Nitro's going to name a beer one, like like a top beer, like not just uh, this one's good, or maybe we'll try this one later. No, this is the day. This is the day we're going to decide it right now. Okay, we're we'll deciding it right now. What's who's who's the front runner? Who's going to win? Alright, so well, I'll get the Alpine open. <sighs> I'll let the Alpine have the beer glass. Right Leave that pour. Oh, it's very light. Wow, look at that. that oh my god, anybody ever see this kind of carbonation? Like there's no suds or no head at all. I'm not gonna like totally fill the glass right now because I got two beer on the go. I wouldn't have to drink. So, do the math on that, and then oh, it's so cold. The cans just keep everything so much colder. See that pour? Also very pale. Well, this is actually a little bit paler, but you can see there's a lot more head going on. Hmm. Now I can tell you right off the head, right, right off the bat, moose head, there's an aroma that I've, that I've become accustomed to, that this does not have, uh, that the Alpine doesn't have. Yeah, the Alpine has very little odor. The moose head has like a, I don't know, distinctive, just kind of beery, beery, I don't know what we call it, skunked, but this has a distinctive beer taste or smell. Yeah. Well, anyway, without further ado, first, Alpine. <sighs> okay, let my nose. <laughs> wow, uh, super smooth, just goddamn. It's like drinking like ice cold Pepsi or whatever. Uh, lots of carbonation. 
just really smooth. Not, not big, not big carb, not big carbonation. It's not a crazy bite. And like there's nothing, there's no fucking, there's no crazy flavors or aftertaste or nothing to come bite you. See, this is a sleeper hit. People don't realize that the Alpine beer uh, is a really great beer. It just sits in the back of the freezer and nobody knows about it. So, yeah. But anyway, turns out Moosehead makes it. And Olin's make Moosehead or our offshoot. You know what? That all seems to be intertwined. And this stuff's brewed uh, maybe two and a half hour drive from here at uh, New Brunswick. St. John's, New Brunswick, Keys. Rob never knows Alexander Keys. That's brewed not even two hours from here in my own province. Yeah. Bob, Nova Scotia is pretty famous for beer. Schooner, same thing. And then there's Oland. Yeah. Without further ado, the Moosehead Lager. <clears throat> wow, great. Lots of flavor. That's one thing I've always said about the Moosehead Lager was it just like it's every time you drink it, it seems like it's different. Like... It always changes, like, say, with your uh, food or, or the time of day or what you're doing. You know, it just doesn't get old. You don't get sick of it. Like, I kind of just, I'm not putting down these beer, but, like, say, Bush. Bush, it is, it just, I don't know, not a bad beer, but it's, a, it's like Coors Light, too. Like, it, Coors Light, I don't know, I wouldn't call it bad beer. It's just, it just tastes really the same all the time, and it's just really... I don't know. Safe. Safe. Man. Man, that Alpine is good, though. Man, if I couldn't swear better, that Alpine is a little bit more oomph to it. Who said? Dude, uh, hands down, I'm going to call it. I'm not going to sit here and reminisce and talk about all their fucking bitterness and flavors and whatnot. It, it's got to be Moosehead. Moosehead Lager. Available at your local NSLC for $27 and some change for a 12-pack. Cans, same with beer, for bottles, same thing. Uh... Man, just amazing. Yep. It's been a long journey, and if I find another beer that, that beats these, I will gladly eat my own words. But uh, Molson Canadian, like the Canadian, gross, gross beer. Dude, I tried to like it, but it's, it's horrible. It's a horrible beer. Uh, they changed their recipe a long time ago, back when I was in high school. And after that, pretty much everybody knows. It's just crap beer. It's pretty cheap. But Alexander Keese, I respect it for what it is. I'm just not a fan of IPA. India Pale Ale. Just don't like it. Not a fan. Respect it. It's like number one in its field, but yeah. Uh... Can you, American Beer, shout out to Miller. They have a good lot of beers. High Life, Genuine Draft. A little light. I mean, it's a nice pilsner. Uh, let's say Coors, you suck. Coors Banquet sucks. Uh, yeah. Rickards, you suck. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think. It seems like anywhere, well, I haven't been out to a restaurant like in like almost over a year since the COVID. But almost every restaurant has on, the only thing they have on tap uh, is is Rickard's Red. Because it's cheap. And you can tell, I bought a tall boy just for a taste test, like just to like the reviews. You can tell, I'm like, oh yeah, that's why they put it on draft. Because it's definitely cheap. You can tell it tastes cheap. And then you can get you drunk really fast. <laughs> yeah. 
But anyway. A lot of honorable mentions out there. Uh, if you ever tried Cronenberg, like 1776. It's only getting in tall boys, but my God. What a beer. What a lager. Harp, made in Ireland. Amazing lager. I thought it was better than everything here. I liked it. I was like, I, when I tried it, I was like, yeah, no way Ireland's got anything on you know, Canada for the Maritimes for beer. But, whoa, I was wrong. But, uh, yeah. A lot of breweries sprouting up around here. I fucking don't like it. You know why? Because they're selling their stuff. Like, uh, they only sell them in, like, six packs. And it's, like, IPA. Everything's IPA, IPA, IPA. And it's just, like, 12% citrus blast. And it, all you can buy them is tall boys, and they're, like, five bucks a can. And they're, they're fucking gross. They're all gross. They're all just, they taste the same. They're all, they all taste like goddamn uh, grapefruit. Uh... Sorry, but IPAs, are, I mean, there's IPA, there's like Indian Pale Ale, and then there's what, whatever that is. Craft beer. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know, the cans are even small. Like, if the six packs of cans, like a local brewer here, they're like little cold shop cans, and the six pack, and then, then they charge even more. If you're a decent beer company and you want to make a go at it, put out 12 packs, put it out normal, put out your, you know, try to compete. Don't freaking, if you're local, charge lower. Charge more from, from, from far away. I don't get this. Why the fuck are we paying more for local beer? Ugh. Fucking rich, you know, man. <sighs> no, that's my two cents about local beer. Local breweries, local distilleries. I swear the half of the ones around my town, town of only like 30,000 people, there's like literally like six vodka companies here already. And I know the two of them, I swear to God, they're not 40% vodka. I'm not going to say who, but uh, until I can test it, but I know for a fact that it can't be. But yeah, some of them are decent though. There's some decent ones. A little bit overpriced, but decent. Yeah, well, I have to say, I finally did it. I finally got down to the bottom of my barrel as far as testing my beer, my favorite. And I'm confident. Who said lager? Bam. Beer that defies the odds. In 1867, Susanna Olin began brewing on her own family farm. Generations later, we continue with her legacy. So, uh, shout out to the ladies. The, uh, my beer and this Moosehead Company is thanks to a woman. And they, uh, it says Union Made. I'm assuming Union Trademark Union Made. That means that the aluminum is, uh, what well, made better? Like, yeah, well, Union P. Well, Boog Whoopi. But, Established 1867. Ah. It's a long time. You have a beer going. 1867. This is. Wow. Do the math, eh? Get that one out. Get that up your ass. And uh, this one, I got this mixed around. This is a newer one. It's uh, since 1937, Alpine. So, folks, folks, pick yourself up a case. Mix and match, get tall boys. Don't have to do it. If you don't buy, I, 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 this is one big thing I don't like. I don't like buying big cases of beer, uh, of stuff I don't even know if I'm going to like. I, like I, that's my biggest fear because I don't have a lot of money. Uh, and I love that they put out like all you know, my favorite stuff in tall boys or variety packs or something you can mix and match, which you can with some. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it's hard just dropping 30 bucks on a beer you don't even know what we were like. If you're going to like it, like, and then sink your money, take it home, you're like, shit. And then it sits in your fridge for, like, two months. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. 
This is a uh, monumental. We broke it down. Moose head wins. Moose head wins. Thanks for listening, folks. Uh, uh, if you want to stick by, I'm going to make a uh, another cigarette review. Actually, fuck that. I'll do it right now. Fuck that. I'll do it right now. Chew at the same time. Whatever. This isn't really much as a review, is it just a going over uh, with the liquor, or sorry, with the cigarettes, is uh, my opinion on, uh, you know, uh, cost worthy, you know how expensive it is here in Nova Scotia, in Canada, 20 bucks a pack, so I've been, Belmont, overrated, Uh, so I am officially retracting my thoughts on that. It was not a well done review. Did not put enough thought into it. Uh, are they a good cigarette? Excellent. Excellent cigarette. Uh, it's just not my favorite. Because I think we can do better. I have yet to get my Rothmans. Because it's been so long. I have to do a side by side. But here's the thing that comes out every time. And this is the cigarette I keep coming back to McDonald's Original. I tried the McDonald's Original in Rich. Don't, yeah, not good. His white filters. I did a review on it. Not a fan. And you can just smell that. You smell the tobacco. It's just lovely. It's just a lovely smelling tobacco. And the brown filter. I got king size. I get king size now. Uh, you can get regular size. Regular size, you could say maybe it's stronger. I don't think it is. It broke decently. It's just this. Oh, I should smoke it to the end without burning your finger. Or having like a roast clip. So, like, I just like, uh, uh, people bashing Canadian cigarettes after the post plain packaging. Yeah. They, they, they deserve a good bashing. A lot, of, a lot of shady shit went down. A lot of quality went under the tank. Uh, just a lot of stuff. Uh, especially like just the renaming and all that stuff. But, yeah, uh, get your. Everyday cancer in there. Look at that mouth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if the Valmonts, which is crazy, you want to see? Uh, you want to see something crazy? I I was kind of shocked when this happened. To me, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a scissors. I'm going to cut a Belmont filter off. And look what's in there. Something I've never seen before. Yeah, my camera's not great. It's in the front one, so it it's activated car or charcoal. So I, when I cut these, sometimes I frequently cut a cigarette filter in half because I just want a really good haul, or you know, just just yeah, just want a stronger smoke. It's a good cigarette. So, uh, yeah, these are like 16 bucks. Uh, tax about 19. I just found out. I thought I was paying 16 bucks for about a year now. Yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot. It's post plain packaging. That's what they do. They On the receipt, it says 16.93. And I thought I was paying 16.93, right? But different stores put different stuff on their receipts. So when I bought these Belmonts, they're 19 bucks. It says on the receipt, $19, $19. That's what you pay. They put the tax in it before the receipt comes out. But where I get these at is a grocery store. So they they calculate, I guess, at the same time uh, with the groceries and then they add the HST at the end. So when it's ring through, it shows 16 something. 
So, I mean, these aren't really any, any cheaper than these. So, yeah. Shocker. A little bit of a piss off, but what are you going to do? And, uh, yeah. You want a good, decent smoke. Uh, good quality. Really good smelling tobacco. Uh, a stronger smoke. So, if you, if you like a lighter smoke, I wouldn't go with Mahal's original. A little bit, a little bit strong, and uh, yeah, McDonald's original used to be formerly known as McDonald's Special, and they used to have different ones like red and stuff like that. But now, since the plain packaging, it's McDonald's original. That's what special used to be. So, I get them in king size. They cost the same with the regular king. I recommend if you're getting a cigarette for the first time and want to really try it out and give it a really good honest review, get regular size. I have to say. Uh, but yeah, the Belmont with, with the charcoal in it, I was talking to some guys on Reddit. They said that used to be a big thing back in the day. They used to advertise it as something like a big thing, revolutionary, but I've never seen this before. And I was like, it'll, the grip will get into your teeth and stuff. It's real charcoal. I don't know. It's weird, eh? That's different. Good or not, I don't know. Uh, no, it's the same thing. You're still getting all that cancer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, uh, the next quest for cigarettes is going to be the Rothman. Because uh, I priced them when I was there. When I had these, because, like I said, I can't, I can't take it to that store all the time. Uh, Rothman's Original Standard. Post paint packaging, they they took all like their their main one like it was like it used to be twenty five bucks. That's gone. Uh, they put out uh, McDonald's or sorry Rothman's special standard special. It has a brown filter. Don't buy them. They're new. They put them out after post paint packaging. They are brown filter, which is uh, not normal like. It has a coat on it, like just like these, uh, around the, the base. But okay, they burn down like in two seconds. Uh, loosely packed, horrible smelling tobacco. Always left leaving you wanting another cigarette. Uh, you basically chain smoke them because they're just, I don't know, very their answer to an economy brand cigarette. And they are like, they're like 16 bucks, like 16, 17 bucks. Don't get them. Uh, the Rothman Original Standard, yes, Rothman Original Standard Special, the Special is new, don't buy that, that's gross. So this is Nitro just giving you a uh, reconfirmation. The Belmonts, they're a good cigarette, the Belmonts are excellent. They're just not, they're not as strong as I would like for my cigarettes. Uh, you can't find them everywhere, so yeah, that's another thing. So if you really like them, it kind of sucks if you like them or you get hooked on them and you can't find them anywhere. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's a good cigarette. Ah, oh, yes. And I went king size this time. And and uh, McDonald's, they have the, the other, uh, their other is Rich, which I believe is a stronger version. I got that. They have a white filter. They're not much good to me. They, they taste very synthetic and have chemically taste to them. Like a real chemical taste turns you right off. So I wouldn't recommend those. All right, folks. This has been a Bois Drop Over You. God damn it. Moosehead wins. Out.